Portrait. Das war halt fest, ne? The best sound in the entire world. But I'm sure that he really means that I'm a bit. Well, Everything is looking quite messy. We've actually spent some time looking at the possibility of building a new house. Moving day one and it's very early, feeling very tired and we're in the house right now. Nothing's looking as it normally does. So I thought I just wanted to quickly show you around. We're just about to go um, to Morten's work and borrow a car so we can go get a trailer and then start moving some of the big stuff. Hi Joe. Hi. So here we have Hi. some of our pictures and just some of the big things that we're taking with us today. And as you can see, starting to look kind of bare in the house. And I think that we'll be taking this with us. The big couch is gonna be stored away and the bed is one of the last things that we're gonna move. I'm not sure we're gonna move that today. I think we're gonna wait a couple of weeks with that. The table, we're gonna have to store that away. Um, but we have a plan for the whole thing. So we pretty much already know which things and furniture we can fit into the apartment. We'll be taking this couch with us to the living room. So this is our guest room and it's really cool because this is one of the couches that you can pull out and then you can sleep on it so that if we have guests coming over they can still sleep over. And then we had a small table here, I'm not sure where that is, I think Morten put it somewhere else, but that's gonna be our dinner table. So yes, everything is looking quite messy. Just wanted to show you something because we've got the whole moving thing planned out, or at least I do. And um, I made these like mood boards and I know that it probably seems a bit obsessive and Morten says that he thinks it's cute, but I'm sure that he really means that I'm a bit obsessive. No comments. It's because I love decorating and moving is always, I mean it's hard this time around because we have to say goodbye to the, this lovely house, but we're also looking forward to getting back to the city. Um, and we have to focus on one thing at a time, you know. I know that the apartment is only a temporary thing. We can like live there from maybe three months to maybe a year. It depends on when we're gonna find the right house. So we might as well make the best of it, right? So gonna make the new place as cozy as possible, even though it is only temporary. So let me show you. So this is like an overview of the apartment. Um, so I've kind of tried to draw in the furniture that I know for sure that we can like fit into the apartment. Um, just to kind of brainstorm already and get a better overview of what furniture we'll have to get stored away until we find a house. Um, because obviously, like I showed you before, we have this huge dinner table and the big couch over there. We won't be able to fit that into the apartment. So just to kind of prepare ourselves for what kind of furniture we want to bring with us and which furniture we're gonna store away. And then I've also made this like more visual mood board. So I've actually tried to kind of place the images where the right room is. So this is like the hallway and this is the hallway and the kitchen inspiration is where the kitchen is. And then the same with the rest of the rooms. It's hard for you to see. There, I think this is better. So these are images from Pinterest that I've just printed out and yeah, the reason why I wanted to do this is both because of course I'm excited to decorate the whole apartment but it's also to make sure that we don't buy a lot of new things because we have a lot of great things already and we'll be able to put them together in new ways than we had them in this house and then create some really cozy rooms. So I think it's, I think it's gonna be really great and I'll show you around once we're all settled down but this is like the plan for the apartment. So yeah, like I said, even though it might seem like a lot of work to put into a place that we won't be staying at, we're just so excited to get back to the city and we have to make the best of it because obviously we, you know, the ideal thing would have been to find the right house to begin with so that we didn't have to move from here to an apartment to move to another house at some point. But 
again, we gotta make the best of it and focus on all of the great things. And the whole area, um, I don't know if you've already seen some of the snippets from the neighborhood over on my Instagram, but I've kind of shared some pictures from the whole neighborhood and also a few images from the apartment. Um, it's just such a lovely, cozy little area and we can't wait to get back. So. Just found our little mini JBL speaker, so now we can hear some music. And here's Asuka all tired. He's been with his best friend, uh, Belto, the other dog that we sometimes babysit, the big uh, white one that you might have seen here on my channel because we were in Copenhagen this weekend to get away from all the moving stress. <laughs> The best sound in the entire world. I just quickly wanted to check in and wrap up this first day of moving. I feel like I haven't vlogged at all today, but I know that I have. It's currently almost six o'clock in the evening, I think, and we just went downtown to grab a bite to eat, and it literally took us like two minutes to go down and get something to eat, and two minutes back, so it's amazing. We're, yeah, we're just so excited to be back in the city and to be so central. I don't think any of us have ever tried living this central before, so it's quite nice to try. Um, and it is a quite nice area that we've, we've found this apartment in, so there's a lot of um, older people and a lot of families in these small city houses um, around our apartment. So it's a really quiet area as well, even though it's so central to all of the shops and all of the cafes and all that. So couldn't have been more perfect. Let me just show you quickly around in the living room and also in the kitchen because things are really starting to look like a home now. So obviously not done at all, but um, you guys probably recognize the furniture already. This is the couch from our guest bedroom that can like be folded out to a double bed. So that's really nice if we have people coming over. We need our television over here and some other stuff in here as well. We need to figure out what we want to put in this corner. And then we have um, the kitchen over here. I'm gonna give you a proper tour some other time. Let me just turn off the music for a second. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna give you guys a proper tour another time, but here's the progress of the kitchen. So everything's looking so nice and cozy. And this guy's still tired. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably.
Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. So as you can see, I am back at my regular spot in the house, in the office, and um, I'm about to do myself a bit of work because I actually haven't, <laughs> Oscar, always such great timing. I actually haven't been doing much work since Friday morning. So um, this weekend we were in Copenhagen visiting my brother and his girlfriend and just had kind of a weekend offline and just getting away from all of the moving and it it was so nice it was really needed as well so that was that was great so didn't do any work there and then yesterday monday we spent the entire day moving so i'm actually really happy to be back at my spot i'm feeling like i have withdrawals like i i want to get back to work i have a few blog posts that i really want to write i want to edit a video that i filmed last week so I love my job and I've missed it, even though I've only been away for a couple of days. So yeah, that's actually the plan for today. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, I realized yesterday evening when we got back from the apartment that my skin looked super dull and dry and I think it was just all of the dust, all of the moving and like exhaustion, like just completely dried out my skin. So this morning I just, it's still morning, it's only 7.30 right now, but Earlier this morning, I had myself a bit of a pamper sesh. So I did myself a face mask. I did myself like a round with my gua sha stone just to get rid of all of the puffiness. And then I've just slapped on a lot of moisturizer, only a little bit of concealer on some of my blemishes. And then I'm wearing lip balm. So that's basically it. I thought that I wanted to give my skin a breather today since I'll just be sitting here preparing stuff and um, then I think later today I do have some like moving related stuff on my to-do list here. So I think today I'm going to be gathering up some of the things that we know for sure that we're going to bring down to the apartment and then gather up some of the stuff that we know we're going to store away so that we get a better image of those things. So I think I might do that later today. We also have a few things that I need to drive to the local like um, recycling station. So we've not been decluttering a lot because really our house is proper decluttered. You might remember that we did a Kamari, is it almost three years ago now I think? Can't really remember but our house didn't really need to be decluttered but obviously sometimes you gather up some things along the way that you might want to let go and we have a few things. I think we've um, filled two storage boxes with things that I will be driving to the recycling station today. So that's not too bad. As you might be able to tell, we are back in the apartment now and um, what day is it today? Wednesday? I don't stay there. Yeah. Wednesday. And it is currently, it's currently almost 5.30 in the afternoon and we are about to, I'm about to prepare some dinner. So um, yesterday we had like these really delicious fajita bowls back in the house and I just chopped everything up so that it just has to be prepared now. So we have a frying pan here, we have a pot as well. I have everything that I need because we don't have all of our kitchen stuff here yet, but we have all the things we need to prepare this meal. I think that today we're gonna set up like internet, Wi-Fi and all that and unpack a bit more. We put a load into the car before we drove off. So unpack these boxes and just do, do a little by little so that the move won't feel as stressful. And then I think that tomorrow I'm gonna drive here, down here as well with another load and then 
by Friday I think we'll take another load and then this weekend we will have our first night here. So I think we'll actually spend the entire weekend down here maybe. So that's gonna be really nice. Here we go, our first meal cooked in the new place. Y'all ready for this? Do 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 So dinner is served, here we have our fajita bowl, so we have some rice here and then some different veggies, some beans, garlic, red peppers and spring onions, what more do we have? <sighs> Not more I think, and then um, a bit of guacamole right here, and then of course a bit of chili mayo, so let's eat. What's up? This is good, I have a little I'm getting the video camera. I got this. Seriously, what do you set it up in the end? It's not going to be a good thing. 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 Du skal bare holde fast i den der. Nå. Nej, prøv. Sådan der. Det er fordi, du skal vente om. Godt. Cut, cut. I need assistance. The point with this is that we only have three cabinets in here. I'm in the bedroom right now, or what's going to be the bedroom. And Morten is gonna get the two of them, and then I will have this one. And then I'll have like my capsule wardrobe hanging on this rail because there's not enough room for all of our stuff so that's how we're gonna do it so i don't even think i've showed you the bedroom properly yet but um yeah it's kind of messy right now but we want our bed over here in this corner so um all up against the wall and then i'm gonna have my clothing rail over here and then we got, we have those three they were already here so for our clothes and then we have a closet already back in the house that we're gonna put in right here similar to the size of like one of these that we're gonna keep our towels and undies and socks and like things like that in that closet that we also use it for that purpose right now so that's gonna be right here where all of this mess is so yes bedroom in progress and then the bathroom out here is also slowly taking form so we are back in the apartment and it's currently almost five o'clock and um, I drove a load of boxes down here earlier this day and then we just took another load of boxes just right now so we're just gonna unpack a little bit and Morten's just getting the TV ready to get all set up and um, yeah I took all of our clothes down here earlier this day and all of our bathroom stuff is here now so Basically all we need now is the rest of our kitchen stuff and then we of course have some other smaller bits and bobs that we need to take care of and then all of the big stuff that we need to deal with for storage. So we are slowly getting there. Um, and I think that yeah, now we're gonna unpack for a little while and then we're gonna walk down to get I think a pizza somewhere and then just sit and enjoy that outside because it's been absolutely gorgeous weather today. Let me just show you the view from our bedroom. Look how cute that looks. And then this is gonna be our first night in the new place. As you can see, we don't have a bed yet, but um, like I've mentioned a couple of times before, that sofa right there is a sofa bed, so we're just gonna sleep there tonight. Actually, just quickly wanted to show you this necklace that I'm wearing today with my meadow slash dune necklace right here. So this is a new um, design from the Still Nest brand, so it's from their own brand, whereas this one is the one that I've designed for them, for my own collection. So they've made this absolutely gorgeous range of zodiac pendants, and this is the Gemini pendant, because I'm a Gemini. <laughs> um, so I've just put it onto a chain that I already had um, in my jewelry collection, so you can choose different mat materials for the pendants as well. Um, but I, of course, chose the one in recycled solid gold because I want it to be a lifetime piece. So I really think that it looks super cute. Just quickly wanted to show you that. So I think we're ready to go. Just wearing 
I can't really show you because we don't have a mirror here. So I'm just gonna pan down like this. I'm wearing my Acne Jensen boots, Levi's jeans, West Air Collective um, leather jacket from MASH, and then an Everlane t-shirt. And then this, those necklaces that I just showed you before, a pair of sunglasses, and then I'm gonna bring my Marc Jacobs bag as well. Ooh, this is hard. All right, let's go. Good morning guys, so it is Saturday morning and it's currently 10 o'clock. I think we woke up at like 15 minutes past 6 because Oscar, he never sleeps for very long. So um, we woke up and went for a short walk, walk with him, had some breakfast and some coffee and I've just been taking my first shower here, getting myself ready and then I've been working a bit and then... Um, I think that we will drive to one of like the home supply markets very soon to get like a curtain for the shower area right here and then in the corner right here we'll have our washing machine and our dryer so we need to figure out how we want that whole setup to be um, so that when you're in the shower the washing machine and everything won't get completely wet so we need to figure out what we want to do right there. Um, we've actually spent some time looking at the possibility of building a new house and um, we are not sure yet what's it, what it's going to be. We're still looking at older houses as well. We're kind of looking at everything on the market basically. Um, I think the most important thing for us at this point is the location. Um, we want to be as close to the city center as possible. So right now we're actually looking into the possibility of building something ourselves. Um, both like the economy of it and where there's like places that you can actually build new homes and it's funny because I've always told myself that I would never be one of those people who built would build a new home but when you can't find exactly what you're looking for in the area you want to live then sometimes it just makes sense you know so another thing that is great about building something yourself is obviously that we can build it exactly almost like we wanted so in the old house it was such a lovely house you know big wide open spaces and you know high ceiling and all that but i feel like it was very big as well i feel like the square meters can definitely be utilized a lot better than it was in the in the old house so we could actually do with fewer square meters and still kind of get the same sense of space that we had in the old house. So pretty much looking a lot into that at the moment, which is very exciting. But again, something that I never thought that we would do, but sometimes that's just what makes sense. And then obviously the location itself will be a bit more expensive since we're closer to the city center now. So maybe saving some of the square meters to get a better location is what's the perfect solution for us. So. lunch with a view this is like our secret eating spot we've um, sat here and had our lunch many times in the past as well also when we used to live in the city in our like younger days so we just had 
a little bit of a lunch. Um, picked up some sandwiches and some stuff from the local bakery. So I actually think now that I am going to wrap up this vlog because um, I have a feeling that it's getting a bit too long. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me this week and joining us in this little moving vlog. Oops. <laughs> Obviously I will keep you guys in the loop in regards to our temporary home, but for now the apartment is our place to live and um, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a really great time. Do I have anything between my teeth? Also, if you want to stay updated with other things, don't forget to follow along over on my blog and also on Instagram because I post other things over there that I don't necessarily always share here on my channel. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Because I actually have <laughs> Oscar, always such great timing. Um, so this is one of like the destiny... Now